Welcome back to Mycology Exploration. We are talking about the pressure cooker, the PC. The pressure cooker is so important when growing mushrooms. If you're cloning and working with agar, you absolutely have to have a pressure cooker. And we're going to talk about it in this video. Now, we receive a lot of comments about the pressure cooker. And we receive a lot of comments about our pressure cooker. So let's talk about the pressure cooker that we use right off. And I'm going to start by saying there is a link in the description of this video and in the description of all of our videos sharing about our specific Instant Pot Duo Crisp model. This study and this specific pressure cooker is the Duo Crisp model. This is not for every single Instant Pot. This goes for the Duo Crisp model only. So let's be very clear. The pressure cooker that we use is the Instant Pot Duo Crisp model with the pressure cooker option. This model is not only a pressure cooker, but it's also a dehydrator. So we purchased this back in 2021. We've been using it for three years and we love it. And we're going to be completely honest with you and tell you that we spent $250 on our Instant Pot Duo Crisp model. And we think it was worth every single penny. And we're not selling this. We're not sponsored by Instant Pot. We just want to be completely honest and open about the pressure cooker so that you can make the best choice for you. So the times that you would need the pressure cooker would be for bird seed. And then all of these different agar processes with cloning and transfers. So if you're using a kit and you're just working with spores, you don't need the pressure cooker. We didn't need the pressure cooker when we first grew from a kit. We experimented. We love experimenting because then we know for us what works and doesn't work. So we highly recommend experimenting. However, if you want to save yourself a lot of time and energy, and time and energy is also money, money is energy, then we highly recommend a pressure cooker so you can sterilize. If you're going to be really getting into mycology and growing mushrooms and cloning, it is worth the investment to get a pressure cooker that you're confident in and that is easy for you to use. So we are Gen Xers. We were born in the early 70s. So pressure cookers are something that we know about. However, things can go wrong with a pressure cooker because it's pressure and it's cooking. So it's very high heat under pressure. And if you're using your stovetop in your kitchen and you're not following the directions, then there can be problems. So we know from experience that not only a good pressure cooker, but the user and the user understanding how to use the pressure cooker and the weights. So when it comes to pressure cooking for mycology purposes, you need to reach 15 PSI on the pressure of a pressure cooker. 15 PSI. 
So the Instapot, Instant Pot, Duo Crisp model that we have used for three years, it fluctuates between 13 and 15 PSI. So it does reach 15 PSI. And we have tested with the time. This is what the husband focuses in on. He is the pressure cooker. And so he has tested with our Instant Pot and the times. And he recommends that when it comes to anything with AR, that 20 minutes is perfect because we allow a little bit longer for that fluctuation up to the 15 PSI. So a lot of the agar recipes call for pressure cooking PC for 15 minutes at 15 PSI. And so what the husband has done is allowed an extra five minutes so we do 20 minutes with all of our agar recipes in the pressure cooker because ours fluctuate again, 13 to 15 PSI. The link in the description that specifically talks about the scientific research on this Duo Crisp model talks about all this information. And it also talks about the specs in order to create that sterile environment. So if you want all the scientific information, check out the link. If you want to know more about this specific model, the Duo Crisp, all that's there for you, all the scientific information. And then we have used it for three years. Again, we're not selling anything. This is not sponsored, not an advertisement. We just get a lot of questions about this. So for the bird seed, when we pressure cook that, the husband has, has found that an hour and a half is perfect for the bird seed. And this is going to be in the larger 12 ounce jars. So an hour and a half on the bird seed. And our Duo Crisp model holds five of those 12 ounce jars. We also use the pressure cooker for sterilization. So in between creating the agar recipes that we use the smaller jars for, and then the larger jars we use for liquid culture, slurries, bird seed, we will clean those, sterilize those in the pressure cooker. And so I asked the husband before I created this, what's the time on sterilization? And he says three hours. He will pressure cook the empty jars in between you. So what we do is we wash them with soap and water, hot, hot, hot water and some soap. And then the husband will pressure cook them for three hours. And there's all sorts of things you can put in your pressure cooker to sterilize and clean them. Now, if you have a pressure cooker that is 15 PSI, you don't have to go as long as we do. But because our Duo Crisp Instant Pot, the pressure cooker fluctuates from 13 to 15, we go longer. We have met so many people in the mycology community, people that are new, people that have been at this for decades. And the pressure cooker has been a hot topic. And we actually have a friend that went all in and got a really fancy pressure cooker. Like this was just the best of the best. I want to say he spent $150 and it was just a pressure cooker. And he used tap water and it ruined his pressure cooker, just the tap water. And so he got it replaced, but then it was just so much work. And he ended up getting <laughs> the instant pot that we have. 
So again, I'm not selling anything, but that Instant Pot, we love the air fryer aspect of it. We use the dehydrator aspect. Now we have our own dehydrator that has no heat that we created. And we're going to create a video for you showing you our homemade DIY or DIY dehydrator with just a box fan. But we do use the dehydrator aspect for some things, but we absolutely love this. There's so many different features. And I have a tip for you. If the bird seed smell in the pressure cooker is not something you like, we just, I cannot handle the smell of the bird seed and the pressure cooker over an hour and a half. And sometimes we'll do, you know, 15 jars of bird seed. So that's three different pressure cooking times in an hour and a half each. And so what we've done is we moved that out to the garage. So with the Instant Pot, it has its own power cord. You don't have to use your stovetop. It doesn't have to be indoors. You could put it out on a patio. You could put it out in a garage. You can move it out so that you're not breathing in the hot steam from the pressure cooker with the bird seeds specifically. So again, when you're picking your pressure cooker, do some research. You really need to hit that 15 PSI for mycology and to grow mushrooms and to sterilize. So again, there's a link in the bio if you're interested or in the description if you're interested in the instant pot and the scientific information around that and it's worked for us and again it's been a great appliance and we love that it has its own power source and really for us we don't want to mess with a pressure cooker but again there's another side to it if you get a pressure cooker and you can really zero in on that 15 psi you don't have to pressure cooker pressure cook as long and you know you're right on it. So again, pros and cons, you have a choice here, but really that pressure cooker with bird seed, with the agar process and with sterilization, it makes a big difference. It's a big deal. So we think it's worth the investment. Again, there's some things we haven't invested in. We don't have a flow hood. We still use an SAB. So for us, we really invested in other areas, and we think the pressure cooker is one of those tools in mycology, and it's worth the investment. Okay, we'll see you in the comments. Much love, friends.